Dingo by Claire Saxby and Tanya Harricks. Dingo by Claire Saxby and Tanya Harricks. To Kerry, to Mark, Finn, Rudy and Teddy. Can you see her? There, deep in the stretching shadows, a dingo. Her pointed ears twitch, her tawny eyes flash in the low slung sun. Dingoes are most active at dusk and dawn. In hot climates, they are almost nocturnal, but in cooler areas, they may hunt throughout the day. Dingo lifts her head, tastes the air, then uncurls. Five plump pups spill. They are nine weeks old and not long weaned. Around her, the pack still sleeps. She nudges the dozy pups towards her mate and they curl back into sleep. A pack, like a family, can be small or large. 2 to 12. All pack members help raise the pups. Young independent males may live alone or form a loose pack with other males until they find their own mate. Dingo listens. Dusk is a busy time. Dusk is the time for hunting. Many of the forest animals are nocturnal waking at dusk and sleeping through the day. Dingo runs softly through the forest. She is sure-footed, flexible and fast. Dingo footpads are larger than those of dogs and their joints are mobile. Dingoes are lean and can travel up to 40 kilometres per day. They are the marathon runners of the animal world. Can you see what she sees? Possum climbs too high. Wombat burrows too deep. Lizard is slow in the cool evening. Too slow. Dingoes will eat insects, eggs and some plants, but they need a lot of energy and that means meat. Dingo sniffs the air, sniffs the ground, follows the scent she finds there. Can you smell what she smells? In the gully, kangaroos. They are too big for Dingo to catch alone. She travels on. Dingoes are clever and determined hunters. They hunt alone and in packs, depending on the size of the prey. She climbs to the highest point and snuffs into the wind. Rabbits! Snuffing into the wind is thought to allow more air in on the next breath, which will help dingoes detect prey. Their sense of smell is up to 100 times better than that of humans. Dingo runs softly, softly through the forest. Slower. She crouches. Watches. Dingoes have excellent night sight. Almost before the rabbit sees her, she has it. Dingo carries her prize back to the den. A frenzy of golden pups greet her. The pups are growing fast, ever hungry. One day soon they will join the hunt, but not tonight. Tonight they will stay here, safe in their rocky den. When the pack hunts, one dingo will stay behind to protect the pups. Dingo pups are three to four months old before they can run with the pack. After a short rest, Dingo sniffs the air and, with her mate, melts into the night. 
they run through the forest, close but not together. The night is young and there is hunting to be done. Dingoes have a variety of howl calls to talk to one another and warn of danger. Though you look, you may not see her. Though you listen, you may not hear her. Dingo moves softly, softly through the forest. Across this ancient land, from red deserts to alpine forests, dingoes make their homes. They have lived in mainland Australia for longer than European settlers, but not as long as the indigenous people. Dingoes came to Australia sometime between 5,000 and 18,000 years ago. They are a medium-sized member of the dog family, but are much more flexible than domestic dogs. Their skull is the widest part of their body. So if they can get their head through an opening, the rest of their body will be able to pass through too. Their packs have well-defined hierarchies and generally only the dominant pair will have pups. Dingoes are top order predators. Only humans are a danger to them both by culling and habitat destruction.